Actually, uh, the Bangladesh government started, uh, say, in 80s, 80s. Those days was nothing in Bangladesh. Actually, when Bangla government business came to Bangladesh, when there was a problem in Sri Lanka, you know, Sri Lanka, Sri Lanka was a good exporter, but there is a political problem in Sri Lanka. Mm. Then buyers shifted to Bangladesh. Mm. So in 80s, here, almost only 300, 400 factories in Bangladesh. Mm. So when I started in 1983, there was only 700 plus factories in Bangladesh on those days. I started on those days, uh, there was a biggest factory was uh, here was, uh, uh, there's a very renowned person. Uh, he, he uh, his name was, uh, just a minute, just a minute, I Uh, just, can you just no problem. We can edit it. We can do 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 it. So there was a, f uh, initially there was a uh, few factories who, who we told them the founder of uh, government, like a Desh government, you know, mm -hmm. there's a Nurul Kadir Khan, he had a very big factory in Chittagong. Mm -hmm. So he sent uh, first a few uh, groups to Korea who took trading in Daewoo. Mm -hmm. Those guys, is a technical guy, they came back to Bangladesh, they were Bangladeshi. They came to Bangladesh and they moved to a lot of other factories than where we started. Mm. In 1983, I started as a uh, garment, uh, you can say this is a trading house. Trading house. I have a, a partner who was a Taiwanese. Mm. He was based in Los Angeles in the States. Mm. So on those days, there was no fabric, no accessories in Bangladesh. So the fabric is to come from China, mm. Korea, Taiwan, some from Japan, very special fabric we used to buy from Toyomenka on those days. I, I went to Toyomenka on those days to see that. Have you heard the name of Toyomenka? Toyomenka. 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 Yes, there was a, a fabric we mm. used to buy from fabric with a chiffon. So chiffon. Chiffon fabrics. I exported chiffon fabric. I see. To a few. And then slowly, uh, Bangladesh, uh, the, oh, those days, you know, when there was LCK used to come to here to the manufacturer, mm -hmm. they keep only the CM, you know, cutting and manufacturing charges. The rest is to go to for the fabric and accessories to China, Hong Kong, or uh, Korea, or Taiwan. Mm -hmm. So the fabric... Not to America. No, the fa this is the, for the raw materials. Uh, raw materials. For fabrics accessories to come to Bangladesh, mm -hmm. we used to stitch it on mm -hmm. and then we ship to America export. or Europe, export Europe. to America or Europe. Okay. So without, this, without the labeling? Uh, with the labeling, with, with the labeling. labeling, not the labeling and everything. Mm -hmm. Initially there was no made in Bangladesh but later on because a lot of people used to use Bangladesh names, Bangladesh names. Mm -hmm. So it was, uh, we actually, maybe I am exporting say 100,000 but suddenly it shows to the custom of the uh, states there was 200,000. Mm -hmm. Because some people are using, uh, s uh, selling goods from other countries but using Bangladesh Day. Yeah, for, for the benefit of... Uh, benefit of the quota fee. Quota, quota fee. Quota fee. But later on, uh, we had also quota imposed mm -hmm. by the states and there was no quota in Europe. Always we got a very good uh, support from the Europe. There was no quota. It mm -hmm. is always a duty free and still there is a duty free. And then since 19, uh, we had also the quota free from 2005, five, I think, from states. Just a minute. Just a minute. I'm confusing you. It's a long time back. Sarosha, what's up? Oi, Amadir, America quota, you draw like 2005, I think, in 2000.
2008. Uh, so this one the uh, uh, So United States we joined the quota mm -hmm. in 2005. So we started from uh, 1st January 2006 there is no quota. Mm -hmm. We can ship any, any items. So there is booming. It's now at the moment mm -hmm. Uh, we have got almost 4,500 plus factories in Dhaka and Chitro. Chitro is our port city, you know. Yes. We have got the biggest port in Chitro. Yes. Still we are using the Chitro port. Dhaka, we, we are using the airport. Mm -hmm. airport. We have another port in Mangla, mm -hmm. but we are not using for the garments, but mostly we are using for, you know, the cars, they are importing from Japan, yes. uh, the reconditioned mm -hmm. car or any other car, mm -hmm. using the Mangla port. Mm -hmm. So Chidong is the biggest port. For the garment. For the garment, for any other things. But garment you are using always the Chidong. Oh, so from Chidagong to Dhaka, you can see a lot of factories now. Mm -hmm. So in a near future, it could be maybe 5,000 plus factories in Bangladesh. Mm -hmm. Now we are at the moment, we can say the second largest exporter in the world. Mm -hmm. How many factories in Bangladesh now? I mean, 4, 000, garment factories. 4,500 plus now, plus. now. Yeah. Okay. So and, and we, have to wear we need an, at least another five thousand another five yeah. thousand and uh, the expo it will be uh, double or triple in by 2020 mm. so Bangladesh is a tremendous yeah. chance so as i said initially uh, when we used to import the fabrics on those days mm -hmm. we don't have any fabrics here mm. now bangladesh is producing for neat items mm almost 85 to 90 percent of fabrics we are producing in Bangladesh. Mm -hmm. We don't need to import from any other. Only we are importing the yarn. Mm -hmm. yeah. Getting, yeah. On the oven items, we are uh, producing almost uh, 45 to 50 percent of the fabrics we are producing here. Mm -hmm. Accessories, most of the accessories we are buying, unless the some specialized things mm -hmm. maybe we have to import from Hong Kong or some other countries. But most of them are made, manufactured in Bangladesh. All in Bangladesh. We have got all the accessories facilities here, mm -hmm. all the washing facilities, mm -hmm. all the embroideries, everything in Bangladesh. Mm -hmm. So you won't believe it that how we have improved this mm -hmm. thing in Bangladesh. Mm -hmm. And technically also we have uh, it was advanced. Yeah. advanced. Mm -hmm. But the thing is that uh, due to some lot of uh, I mean, uh, uh, difficulties, we are still faced, like say we have some lacking of uh, say power is now improving. We have got some gas problem, but we are hoping that it will improve. But our businessmen are very, I mean, courageous. Mm -hmm. Our workers, they are very much uh, obedient, I will say that. Uh, their people are very nice. If you behave in them nicely, mm -hmm. they will produce people. everything. Mm -hmm. These people are very, you know, the, uh, the, our workers. They are, if you tell them in a nice way, if you explain them, they will do everything for you. Mm -hmm. Loyal, very loyal, very loyal people. people, very loyal people. Mm -hmm. So some outsiders always make the problems. Outsiders. Outsiders always creates a problem. But now they understood. Our uh, workers they understood. If the outsider uh, start any problem, the owner will uh, close the factories and they will suffer. Mm -hmm. Country will suffer. Mm -hmm. First, they need to know how to uh, work with them. Right. So they are so now. Now most of the people understand everything. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, let me tell you one good thing. Even uh, whenever, whoever is in the opposition in the politics, they never disturb the government factory. Mm -hmm. oh. Never disturb. Even in the hartal or strikes, mm -hmm. nobody disturbed government factories. Mm -hmm. Sometimes there was a government chaos. Yeah, what was intentionally yeah, somebody did. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. It was sabotaged. There was sabotaged. Mm -hmm. But otherwise, if political agitation is going on, but nobody disturbs the government. Mm -hmm. Nobody disturbs the government. Can you tell me how it was so quickly solved? Who the, 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 that sabotage that was going on? There were external forces. The external means it is the you know the some groups of the political people. Yes, yes. Who, yes. who they were paid? Who, they are paid. You know they are paid. They, are, they even they they get they take the money. And they take money from the even the poor workers. Even they take the money from the owners. Yes, yes. Even. Yeah. They are taking money from the who are doing, they are also maybe doing exactly. this. Exactly, it was a tactical attack. But now, 
Everybody understands the garment from Bangladesh, no one can take it off. Okay. So there will be here, in Bangladesh will remain as a garment country. You have proven that. It is proven to everywhere. Okay. If you go to anywhere in the world, any shop, you will see the made in Bangladesh. Made right. in Bangladesh. Made in Bangladesh. Even in Japan, it's It's very difficult for me if yeah. I go somewhere, if I want to buy a gift for somebody, if I buy for here, to bring here, it is right. made in Bangladesh. Mm -hmm. So I'm bringing here, but it's written made in Bangladesh. I feel proud. I feel proud. I bring it to, uh, give a gift to people and say, look. It I'm, went from here. You I bought back. it from States or Canada. It's a mini Bangladesh. It looks so nice, mm -hmm. so beautiful. Yeah, in America, Target, uh, Target. Walmart, Walmart, everything was made in Bangladesh. All the t-shirts, shirts, yes, yes, yes. sports Even clothes, Cermics, underwear, uh, bags. Do you know in uh, America there is a uh, uh, store called Dressburn? Dressburn. Dressburn, Texas. Yes. Texas. Yes, yes, yes. So I'm exporting to them. Oh. Texas. I'm exporting to them. Mm. What do you make? T-shirts? Uh, no, Pants. we are making for the trousers. Trousers. Yes, ladies' trousers. Ladies' trousers. Yeah, yeah for that. For the mama size and the normal missy size. Mm. And I'm exporting at the moment for uh, garment uh, t-shirts for the night dresses for the Japan. I will show you. Mm. I will show you all interested in it. Mm. I will show you the old samples to you. Uh, one thing is that uh, last uh, one or two months before, our commerce minister went with the uh, NEET uh, manufacturer uh, group to Japan. You know, Japan, our minister said there is a very big uh, scope. Japan. There is a big company, you know, Uniqlo, who is working here, and I am working with uh, uh, with a few companies in Japan, but very small way. Mm. But I like to develop more business in Japan. Mm. Yes. I feel comfortable in, in, in Asia. I feel comfortable, and somehow I don't know. I feel very comfortable with the Japanese people. How? I will explain you. In 1987, I was with the Taiwan. Then I uh, break with the Taiwanese guy. Because I found that his uh, way of doing business, he used to give a lot of things to Bangladesh. Uh, the fabrics, accessories, the quality is not good. But once it comes to Bangladesh, we cannot return it to Bangladesh. Mm -hmm. uh, to, and we have to stack up with, the, with all this, uh, what's called the poor things. Mm -hmm. So I explained them, I said, look, Bangladesh manufacturers, they suffer. Mm -hmm. So I cannot do anything with my manufacturers. They are suffering all these things. So better to and then I started working for a company called Starlight in America. It's a very big importer in 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 states. So on on those days, there's in uh, this company Starlight is uh, we uh, we are working through uh, Bangkok. Their office uh, satellite office was in Bangkok, and the chief of Bangkok was. A Japanese person, his name was Mato Okada. Mato Okada. Mato Okada. Mato Okada. M. Okada. So he is now 80 years old. So when I started in 87, he was quite okay. And he was like my teacher. And still. Oh, the I guy you were talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. So still I had a connection with him. He's. Acha, uh, Acha. Acha. To me, eh? I will just I will okay, I will give you I will tell you later on what I asked to be. I will I will show you some samples what we are doing. Okay, you can come to Okay, this one is going to be a small cap.